My brothers and sisters in Christ, in today's first reading from 2 Corinthians, we hear St. Paul tell us that God loves a cheerful giver. This scripture passage is appropriate for the Feast of St. Lawrence that we celebrate today. For St. Lawrence in his life, his witness, and his martyrdom embodied this principle. We may remember that on Friday we celebrated the memorial of uh, Pope St. Sixtus II and companions who, under the persecution of the Roman Emperor Valerian, where Pope Sixtus was caught in the catacombs celebrating Mass, and he and the clergy assisting him were, were executed. St. Lawrence went to his martyrdom a few days later. He was deacon of the Roman Church, an assistant who happened to not be present at that Mass in the catacombs. And the Emperor Valerian, hearing that the church had many treasures uh, from their divine worship, gold candlesticks, fine you know, chalices, whatever and the like, hearing of this finery, he gave uh, uh, an order to, to Lawrence to produce the wealth of the church and that he might spare him. Lawrence famously replied to give him three days to gather the treasure of the church together to present them to him. And when those three days were up, Instead of a bunch of gold items, the, the witness of the Roman emperor found the poor of the church gathered. Lawrence had in fact sold all of the, the precious items of the church and distributed the goods to the poor in order to keep it from being seized by the state and to help the poor. And he famously presented, here lies the treasure of the church, gesturing to all of the poor faithful. Now this is a beautiful witness for us because it points to two things. First of all, that contrary to what some would say, uh, com, you know, trying to contrast the current church to the ancient church, the house church, that even in the ancient church, the use of precious items, of investing wealth in the glory, the worship of God was important. This idea of giving our best to God and his worship. And of course, that tradition goes back to the temple in Jerusalem itself, when God in his instructions laid out the, the precious uh, items to, to use in worship of him. But this is not where the story ends. Ultimately, what was the wealth of the church was the poor, the people. Lawrence witnessed to the heart of the church, which is that the early Christians lived an austere lifestyle. Wealth was not something to keep for themselves but it was something to be given cheerfully, first to the glory of God and worship of him, and always to the poor, to the needs of the community, to one another. And not only did Lawrence represent giving, but he gave cheerfully. He had the chance to sell out, but he did not. He went to his own martyrdom cheerfully, and legend would even have it that as he was cooked alive on a gridiron, that he said to his executioner, I'm well done on this side, flip me over. In a sense, he went to the grave cheerfully. He gave his all, first in his giving to the poor, his giving to the church, and then ultimately giving his life as witness to the gospel. On this Feast of St. Lawrence, may we be recommitted to a spirit of cheerful giving, that we may always give our best to the Lord and to one another. May God bless you all.